Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am back in the building for another video, and this time I'm here to talk about The Many Saints of Newark. I had a chance to watch a special screening of the movie. First of all, I want to say that this is a great movie, great, great story. The movie is basically detailing the beginning basically before Tony Soprano go on to become basically was on the Sopranos television show. Um, this is basically about Junior Soprano, Christopher Maltasanti's dad, Dickie Maltasanti, Hollywood Dick, who is Christopher Maltasanti's grandfather. Would it be grandfather? Because that's, that's his dad's dad. Yeah, that's his grandfather, okay. And of course, Tony Soprano's dad, Johnny Boy, Giovanni Johnny Boy Soprano. This is basically about them as well as uh, Holly, Pussy, Livia Soprano. Also about her. Like, you could basically say that Michael Gandolfini, who plays young Tony Soprano, it's, you know, he's a main character, but it's very vague on Tony Soprano as a whole in the movie. Like, it's vague. It's, it's, it's almost kind of like, He's basically innocent in the movie. He he's he's not doing anything like if you're looking to find him like doing something violent in the movie, he's not he's not doing anything like that. He is doing like kid, you know, adolescent kid stuff or whatever. Something like that, I I could basically say. But what you're gonna look for in this movie, you're gonna definitely find some things that are like intertwined and tied into the into the movie from the television show. That's definitely what you're gonna see. You're definitely gonna find some moments where Livia Soprano and young Tony Soprano, like whatever they, you know, the, the relationship in this movie is basically tying into the television show. And then you get to know and like, oh, okay, that's why, that's why their relationship is the way it is on the television show versus, you know, in this movie. And it's just basically like an origin story in a sort of way. Same thing with Tony Soprano and Uncle Junior. Uncle Junior and him, you know, his relationship is kind of not really anything to a, it, it's not really a certain way into a certain point. There is a certain similarity in which uh, when we speak on like maybe like a Bronx tale in which like there's an admiration for a gangster from the eyes of a adolescent in Tony Soprano, I'll say that much. You got flashbacks in in uh in the Sopranos, but you never really got those flashbacks of like Junior too much, or like you only got like one, but you only get you only got like one flashback Tony's memory that has to do with his dad, and that's like caught his dad chopping off somebody's hand. And that's what started his uh, traumatic experience of like having like episodes of fainting. And then the only other thing you really got was like maybe a few flashbacks of Livia Soprano um, back in the day, but that's about it. You, you didn't really get that many flashbacks. So this movie really touches on like a whole, like it's pretty much a whole flashback. Uncle Junior's jealousy, definitely very visceral in this movie. Like I said, I'm not gonna say anything I'm gonna try to keep this as vague as possible, but I am gonna tell you that there is violence in this movie. There's an angle in this movie that has to do with the black community in New Jersey versus the Italian community in, in New Jersey. So that should just tell you that, you know, whatever you need to know as far as racism goes. Like there's there's a there's an angle that has to do with that in this movie. Cause of course, I like like I said, this is this is like the beginning. This is tell it this is pretty much detailing. The the timeline is nineteen sixties, like I'm I'm thinking like early nineteen sixties, all the way up until like the early nineteen seventies. So it's like uh, Tony Soprano is is a young Tony Soprano is like like from ten years old up until he's like, um, till he's like eighteen, basically. Um, they did do some. I will say one thing from the movie. They there there's something that they are, uh, of course another thing that they took from the television show is <laughs> the thing about uh uh Tony Soprano and him being wanting to be like a varsity football player. They addressed that in in this movie. It's pretty funny. I think uh Michael Gandolfini did a an amazing job. If this is his first time acting, 
Um, yeah, like I said, his his father would be very proud of him. If his father was alive today, rest in peace, God rest the dead, he would be proud of him and with what he did with this movie. Um, hopefully there is a uh hopefully there's a, a another another you know, they, they make another movie out of this or even a television show because I would definitely like to see what a twenty year old uh Tony Soprano was doing because I mean we know what he's doing in the television show and the the movie pretty much tells me all I need to know about what he was what, how he was when he was young but I mean I really want to know what it's like when Tony Soprano becomes Tony Soprano and he starts to get that work in you know what I'm saying um that's the end of the review uh click the like subscribe and uh stay tuned for more